hello everyone this is asmr today welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial and today I to present here to give you the secret settings of face retouching that means if you want to retouch the face and what will be the settings and that settings you don't know and that is the secret settings of face retouching you're getting here some spots in the face and uh, uh, some a little here in this face and this one is look like a rough face but uh, how to retouch this type of face and here in this skin you are getting some just uh, dotted and something wrong and that is looking rough of this portrait and how to make it like uh, full retouching and smooth this one and uh, remove the spot and dotted all the things so this tutorial is about this one that means you'll get the secret settings and the techniques you can just get all the things a to z in this tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so let's start the tutorial at first i'll copy this layer by pressing ctrl j or you can drag it and drop in these layer options and after that Go to the filter and the photo toolbox skin finer if you want to know how to set up the skin finer how to use the skin finer the basic of the skin finer please check out my video description i just made these type of tutorials before so you can check it out and you will know everything about the skin finer skin finer i'm zooming in this one a little bit zoom so this one is the before one and after one you are getting this and here is the panel and the skin masking panel i just hide this one just because of i won't use that i'll use all the things at first the smoothing i'll smooth the face and then i'll correction the color of the face and the highlighted area overexposed area everything so i'm making it a little bit zoom and here the smoothing option if you want you can smooth this one but i'll suggest you to don't do it more smooth okay make it smooth like that yeah that's good so i think this one is good okay and here look you are getting the more prominent here in the face but in this picture you are not getting the prominent way so you can use this one so yeah okay after that just go to the hue and saturation option if you want to make the color like red type color suppose this one i'm zooming in a little bit yeah if you make it red you can do that so i won't do that i'll adjust this one like the soft like color yeah that's good and then the saturation if you want you can make it like black and white but no i'll make it a little bit yeah that's good and now most important thing is that brightness so here is uh, overexposed area and here in the nose and the lips so i'll adjust this one so let's adjust this one like this yeah i'll de-highlight it i'll decrease the brightness a little bit but i'll adjust the shadow and highlighting it will make your photo just charming so the shadow i'll make the shadow like this in the highlight i'll make the highlight like that so that's good shadow i'll increase the shadow a little bit and brightness adjust the brightness look this one is a rough face but in this photo you are getting the smooth face and everything so hit the ok button after that i have to adjust the color and the other things i'll do that from the camera filter just because of add some photo effect and the other effects it will just make the face more nice to do that so that's good and one thing is that in this area we are getting some dots and that's looked odd so for that i'll do another thing so i'll turn it off and make copy by pressing ctrl j and then go to the filter and blur option and the gaussian blur options so in this portion just look at here yeah i'm just making it like this okay 
in this portion yeah i'll make it 5.8 percent blur okay and hit the ok button and then select turn it on just select this one turn it on and select this layer and make it mask and then go to the brush options and opacity down flow down so just make it black and then just brush this area not too much little bit so it will cover up and rest of the thing I will adjust with the camera filter now let's see so before after before and after so let's adjust the color with this so unlock this layer select three things make it group and make it merge go to the filter camera filter and now i'll change whole thing in this photo so from here at first i'll go to the temperature and tint options so if you make it like that yeah i'll make it a little bit too warmy it look like yeah that's good and the highlight option just de-highlight this one as much as possible so and here is the white option you know that the highlight and have and white this one is related with each other so yeah that's good so here is the shadow option if you make it like that it will be like like uh, just dark so i will add some shadow a little bit 10 or 12 that's good and blacks make it a little bit blacks so that's good for here and then go to the curve or uh, tone curve from the tone curve go to the blue options and select here and make it like this yeah it will be warming okay and then go to the hsl option from the hsl panel here is the skin color orange i'll just desaturate the orange color yeah this one is a posh look so let's see the before one and after one. yeah you are getting the posh look gradually so i'll make it more posh so here is the orange color i'll increase this one red color decrease the red color luminance yeah and the saturation red color saturation you can up and then orange color saturation i'll make it down yeah that's good and then the luminance i'll make it up yeah the before one and after one yeah we're getting artistic and a nice look so here is a feel in this photo after that here is a blue color so blue color luminance i'll up make it up and saturation i'll make it up so pink color magenta and you can work with that so after that go to the camera calibration here is the face color like this yeah you can make it like this that's good and here is a primary red color yeah i will work with the primary red color just because of the red portion of the face okay okay and primary green color you can make it like there is the red prominent but i'll make it that's good and from the fx options if you want to dehaze this one you can do that but i won't do that i will make it zero from the side the other side i'll add some vignetting a little bit minus seven that's good and then again the tone curves and now i'll work with the red color and red color i'll make it like this red color just face is uh, like red tone so green color as well so i'll work with the green color not too much a little bit yeah that's good and then the rgb color mood select here if you want to add some grammar you can make it like this but i won't do that i'll make it down yeah and then from the basic panel add some shadow it will make your photo 
nice that's good let's see the before one and after one you're getting the perfect tone perfect color and everything in this photo but here you are getting only the uh, orange color and highlighted image in the portrait photography the most thing most important thing is that shadow and highlighting if you don't get the shadow and highlight properly then uh, it won't get the proper value of the photography so you should have to work with that so that's good and i think the before one and after one okay and then in the detailing options i'll add the detail like this for the balance i'll know from the noise reduction i'll add some luminance noise luminance of noise reduction and the color okay yeah that's good and i will save this one so i'll give you for your photography purpose and for your skin retouch purpose so i'm just saving this one and save i'll make the name retouch and then hit the ok button so it's loading before one and after one and then finally i'll increase the eye color enhance the eye color so take a new blank layer make it white color take the brush and make the brush size according to the people and then check out the opacity make it 100% flow 100% and select once and once and then change the blending mode to the overlay color and you can adjust the opacity see the changes so let's see the before and after and then select these two things make it group make it merge yeah that's cool and after that i will add another effect that is from the nick collection color effects pro 4 so i do like to use the nick collection just because of it will make the photo more dramatic and more realistic and artistic so you know that the photography is uh, art and you have to make it uh, uh, like uh, you have to present this one like artistic way so this one is the way and i'm using the cross processing and here is lots of filter you have to choose the perfect filter for your photography so this one is not uh, easy task to do uh, yeah i'll use the l03 and i'll make the change of strength like this i think 20 is good and hit the ok button it will take time to load and give you the output and we'll get the final output from here yeah and before one let's see the actual before one so like this one was the before and the after before and after you're getting huge huge difference the rough face and the um, dirty type screen skin uh, so in these you are getting the polish and artistic um, face and uh, this one is the main work of a uh, photographer and artist so i think this tutorial will help you a lot so thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial uh, and the plugins uh, guideline or installation guideline in my video description and uh, preset check out my video description stock image please check out my video description video description is that uh, place you can get all i used in this tutorial so until the next video i may say when is signing out today one thing don't forget to subscribe and help my video and i may say marif today bye bye